Uh, Tennessee owes the state's only publicly funded historically black college around half a billion dollars. A bipartisan group of lawmakers meeting on the issue found the state routinely underfunded TSU for decades. Capitol Newsroom reporter Gerald Harris has more on growing calls for lawmakers and community members to make it right. Whether you're an alum, and we understand it's, it's a process, but do some good faith. If you're, if you're unprepared to give $544 million right off the top, you can do the same thing like you did with this, with this nice big plant that's coming to West Tennessee. They've been giving $9 million. We should be giving some, some good money up front. Or a business owner less than a mile away from Tennessee State University. Tennessee, the, the university, they don't do anything to do harm them, but they harm Tennessee State. And I have a problem with that. Folks are talking about the massive underfunding of one of the two land-grant institutions in Tennessee. Tennessee State had been underfunded uh, close to $544 million in state matching funds. A bipartisan legislative committee report details how Tennessee did not match federal land grants given to Tennessee State University as required by law. When we talk about land-grant institutions, there's a requirement that the state provides matching funds to the federal dollars that they draw down. This is significant because when the state does not provide those matching funds, the university oftentimes has to make those funds available themselves for that particular federal grant. The move Representative Harold Love says put the university in a position to deal with issues from infrastructure, expanding coursework and staff to recruitment of students by shuffling general funds. This is what happens when you don't have that required funding to come in properly. Uh, issues are deferred and put off and you end up in a situation where you have dire needs of repairs out there. The renewed focus on the money owed to TSU comes as the legislature approved a nearly $900 million incentives package for a West Tennessee mega site. I met with board members of TSU to talk about uh, the appropriate funding, what that funding should be used for, how much it should be, uh, where the investments should be made. Uh, those are all ongoing conversations. I'm hopeful and believing that in the midst of the committee reporting out how much Tennessee State is owed, uh, in the midst of us just coming from a special session where we are investing $900 million uh, in, in Ford and SK, that the governor also sees that this is also a necessary investment. Now, the Tennessee Higher Education Commission produced a report from last year that showed over $337 million of deferred maintenance is needed on the campus.